today and the teachers dressed in all black from Archbishop Wood High School in Bucks County and they have just entered the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are in fact smarter than their teachers and the best schools always have great spirit sections and Bucks County delivered today. Check them out. What's up guys? Ooh, they look good ready for this game. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, let's see who studied. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Archbishop Wood. I always played them in hockey. You guys have a great school. Here we go. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and steal those points. Teachers, are you ready? Woo! Students, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Buzzers in hand. Time starts now. The characters Dally, Soda Pop, and Pony Boy are from what book? Here we go, Justin. The Outsiders. The Outsiders, right. Students on the board. In what 2015 movie does Chris Pratt's character befriend and train an animal named Blue? Mr. Roach. Jurassic World. Jurassic World is correct. What is the first and last name of the person elected president of the Confederate States of America in 1861? Justin on early. Robert Lee. Teachers for the steal. Mr. Roach. Jefferson Davis. That is correct. Teachers, nice answer. What does the chemical symbol K represent? Savannah. Potassium. Potassium is correct. Nicely done. What DJ is known for wearing a custom helmet and collaborated on songs like Friends and Happier? Justin. Daft Punk. For the Steel Teachers. Mr. Roach. Marshmallow. Marshmallow's right. <laughs> what team has the most Super Bowl wins in NFL history? Mr. Roach. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Again, correct. Nicely done. You're on a run here. What is the full name of the author of The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Mermaid, and The Ugly Duckling? Savannah. Hans Christian Andersen. That is correct. Nice answer. In what year did American first land on the moon? Mr. Roach. 1969. That is correct. What is the name for the colored part of the human eye? Mrs. Hartramps. The iris. Correct again. In volleyball, what is the term for a serve that results directly in a point? Mr. Roach. An ace. Ace is correct. And that is it for the pop quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead right now, fist pumping it up. They should. 70 points. And students, you got a few right there bringing you up to 30. We're off to a great start. And we have the amazing Archbishop Wood High School from Warminster, Pennsylvania, home of the Vikings. Let's meet some of these Vikings over here. Justin, my man, team captain. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? You win the $500 today. Where's that money going? It's going to the Quiz Bowl team. Quiz Bowl team. All right. So, you wait. Is this the whole Quiz Bowl team right here? Yep. Yeah. Plus our uh, mentor plus, and yeah. other uh, alternate. So, you stack the deck against the teachers at? Of course. <laughs> what, is a, what does a Quiz Bowl team buy with $500? We, we, we want to buy buzzers. Really, they're expensive. Listen, if our buzzers go missing today, I'm looking at you right now, we're coming after you. Yeah. All right, well, good to see you. Good luck today. We have Ann, you're a 12th grader, and I hear yes. a big time runner. Yes, I do love running. Are you a short distance sprinter, long distance? I, I love distance running the best. What kind of uh, distance running have you done? Uh, I've done 5Ks. I did a half marathon one time. You did a half marathon? Yes. I've always wanted to do a half marathon, but I don't know, like, to be honest, you'll know because you're a professional. Where do runners go to the bathroom? You're in the middle of a marathon, you're like, oh, I don't know, what do you do? Oh, you just got to hold it. You got to hold it? Yeah. If we ask you off air, are you going to say, you just got to go? <laughs> don't Me. answer that question. We're on TV. All your friends are watching. Savannah, 12th grader, and you play the violin? Yes, I do. What an awesome instrument. What's your favorite all-time violin song? Um, definitely When the Devil Went Down to Georgia. That's got a good beat. Devil yeah. Went Down to Georgia, and that's the only words we know. You don't need that's to know it. Anymore. Well, guys, listen, big money on the line today. Beat those teachers. Good luck. Let's give it up for these guys. Come on. The competitors, the teachers, you guys made it in the house. You got out of the classroom and into the classroom. Guys, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you. Mr. Roach, you win the $500. Where's that going? That is going to our faculty lunchroom. We are in desperate need of a new microwave. <laughs> hey, hey, 
like, really? Everybody's just eating cold broccoli all the time? I can't speak for them, but I can only speak for myself. What if the student asked, like, the, can we use your microwave? What's the answer? Absolutely not. No, right, nice yeah. answer. Yeah, it's a teacher's lounge. Get out of here. Uh, world history, and you're in your third year? That is correct. Third year, Archbishop Wood. And you're loving it, I'm sure? Uh, absolutely. I got great students, and I got uh, great faculty members that I interact with on a daily basis. So Good luck today. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Hartranth, guys, 23 years. Give her a big round of applause. 23 years in the business. What's your favorite all-time memory? Uh, probably would be coming back to teach at my alma mater. Oh, you went to you went to Wood. Yes, I did. All right. Hopefully, there was no teacher still left there. They're like, you were a bad kid. No, there are. <laughs> <laughs> they need to retire. They yeah, need to retire. Maybe. Well, good luck today. And Mr. Rowan, she's been in the game 23 years. You're only 23. <laughs> That's true. I yeah, think you I should be on that side. This guy doesn't even have a beard yet. Look at this thing. He's still got the boyish charm. You ready to take these kids on? I am. All right, I man. Am, well, good luck today, guys. We're so Thank glad you. you're here. Hey, we're all friends, but it's time to send somebody to detention. Let's do it. All right. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass the category, the other team must answer, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention, they're going to win 40 points. Students, it's got to feel good, right? You're chomping the bit. You have these teachers in class? Yes. And, and was it emphatic? Yes, you're ready to do this then. Yes. Here we go. Here's who we're going to start with. Students, the category is young adult fiction. Do you want to play that or pass? Yeah. You're going to play, please? You're going to play. That was the most polite thing I've ever heard, Justin. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Mr. Witch, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. What's It are characters in what novel turned movie? A Wrinkle in Time. Yeah. A Wrinkle in Time. Ding is right. You guys got that right. And just like that, one of these teachers are going to detention. We have our 23-year-old all the way at the back, our 23-year-old teacher, and then our ice hockey coach. Who's, who's going, guys? I think we're going to have to take out Mr. Rowan. Mr. Rowan is out of there. Take that cute smile. Get over to detention. I've never seen someone happier. You literally smiled all the way over there. Like, yes, I never made it in high school. All right, teachers, here's your next category. Uh, math. Do you want to play that or do you want to pass? I can do math, but I don't know. They might be. They might be. We'll pass. Nice strategy. Nice strategy. Students, here you go. Your question. What is the least common multiple of 6 and 10? 2. 2. two. We were looking for 30 there. 30, which means teachers pick one of these guys to go over to detention to join Mr. Rowan. That's a nice toss by you. It's all about the strategy. I think we'll send Savannah to detention, please. Savannah, <laughs> she's close. Taking that walk over there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. She sits in the front. You guys are high five, and I love it. Here we go. Students, your category is television. Do you want to pass or play that? Pass. Oh, pass. They're going to pass. In what show will you find characters with the names Stark, Lannister, and Tyrell? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. They didn't even need to talk about it. <laughs> Teachers, that is correct. Game of Thrones is right. And just like that, we're about to have one student left in the game. Who is going to be that last one standing? Well, I think we're going to send Justin to detention. <laughs> All right, yeah. Justin, you are out of there. Take that walk over. Mr. Rowan is literally high-fiving every person. Going. They're like, dude, we're there together. It's awesome. All right, teachers, here we go. Your category for the win here, if you get this one correct. Do you want to pass or play animals? We'll play it. They're going to play it. What is the only mammal that can fly? Uh-oh. Oh, I can't think of what it would be. Penguin? And it's a bird. We need an answer. That is a great question. <laughs> that is. That's what we do here in the classroom. Make great questions. Oh, we don't hide about <laughs> That is too bad. The answer was bat is the only mammal that can fly. And this is going to feel nice. You get to pick your pick. Is it Mr. Roche or Mrs. Mm. Hartramp? Who's going to detention? Mr. Roche. Mr. Roche is out of there. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause as he makes his way over. Let me guess, Mr. Roy, you're going to give him a huge high five. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, hey, that detention's getting packed, guys.
which comes down to one teacher and one student left for all the glory. And here's your category. And you get to choose, do you want to pass or play sports? Pass. <laughs> Not feeling sports, huh? No, no. What if it's a running question? And in the question is, oh. where do you go to the bathroom in a marathon? <laughs> you would have done well, I but here we go. <laughs> Pop, it's not, so that's good. <laughs> How many Canadian teams are in the NHL? The hockey coach is over there going, are you kidding me right now? Two. Two is incorrect. Mrs. Hartman, head over to detention. Hey, students, you guys get out of there. The answer was seven teams. and holds it down. Beautiful play by her in the pass. The scores, 70 for the teachers, 70 for the students, and we will be right back with more Classroom. They were showing me. They were showing me how to do that in the break. That's still not right. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Archbishop Wood High School in Bucks County battling it out. The score is all tied up. 70 points for the teachers, 70 points for the students, so it's still anybody's game. And it's, we're getting right back into it. It's time for some spell check. <laughs> This always makes teachers so nervous, the spelling part. Guys, here's how this game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I will give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you are out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing. I'm a nice guy. I'm going to give you guys 10 points apiece. You ready to spell, teachers? Yeah. Students, you're ready? Yeah. Teachers, you're going to go first because it's all tied up. Mr. Roach, your first word is? Panic. Panic. P-A-N-I-C. Fast. That was quick. Justin, afford. A-F-F-O-R-D. Your next word, Ms. Hartramp, solar. S-O-L-A-R. On the mark. And reflect. <laughs> R-E-L. <laughs> missed an F in there. You missed an F on the reflect. Here we go. Your next word, Mr. Rowan, furnish. F-U-R-N-I-S-H. Here we go, Savannah. Promote. P-R-O-M-O-T-E. Mr. Roach, murmur. Murmur, M-U-M-M-U-R. <laughs> Forgot the R in there. You are out of the game. Two students, two teachers. Here we go. Your next word, Justin. Glacier. G-L-A-C-I-E-R. Here we go, Ms. Hartramp. Referred. R-E-F-E-R-R-E-D. That double R, you got it. Muscular. M U S C. U-L-A-R. To a piece still, here we go. Cinnamon. C-I-N-A. Double N. Sorry, pal, you're Great. out of the game. Here we go, Justin. <laughs> Throughout. T-H-R-O-U-G-H-O-U-T. That was a long one. Nicely done, Mrs. Hartram, to stay in this game. Emporium. E-M-P-O-R-I-U-M. -E With ease. Savannah, irksome. I-R-K-S-O-U-M. M-E, you were so... I, I was that. about to give you the fist pump. Defendant. D-E-F-E-N-D. E-N-T. A-N-T, which means <laughs> students. Justin, you're the last one standing. You just bagged 30 points for your team. Brings you students up to 100 points for the game, 70 for the teachers. But we're not done yet. The classroom is still in session when we come back. <laughs> Gets me excited. Hey, welcome back to the classroom today. We have students versus teachers from Archbishop Wood High School in Bucks County. I've made my way out into the audience. The boats are parked. We got the Vikings in the house. Yay! His name is Frederick. Give him the Viking yell. Ah! Oh, that, that's mean. <laughs> ah. All right, right now the students are in the lead 100 points to the 70 points for the teachers. It's time for you to put your smile on. It's picture day. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, big shout out to Frederick the Viking. Yeah. Ah! That's my man out there. Could you imagine a football game? Does he got? Does he get you guys pumped up? Yeah. The only thing he's missing is a leather skirt. He's wearing dress pants right now. <laughs> all right, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture, they're going to win ten points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member from the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures today. Today, let's smile. Here's picture number one. This athlete is a four-time Olympic gold medalist. I don't know how you guys don't get this one. <laughs> it's just blue. Clue number two. You may have seen her at a royal wedding. And who is Venus Williams? Is it Venus Williams? Incorrect, teachers. You want to go for a steal? Buzz in if you know. Mr. Roach? Is it Serena Williams? Is it Serena Williams? Nice that job. is correct. There she is. So close, and you got the wrong sister there. Wrong sister. That was, that was a good one, though. Picture number two. Here we go. Let's see it. This structure includes a bell that chimes every 15 minutes. Clue number two. This structure's name is also a nickname for an NFL quarterback. And... Big Ben. Is it Big Ben? Yeah, Big Ben is right, bringing you up to 110 points. See, there's no sister there for Big Ben. You nailed that one. Way to go. And here's our final picture day. This guy has probably made you laugh. Anybody? Nope. He was on Saturday Night Live before beginning a successful moving career. Movie career. Mr. Roach. Is it Ashton Kutcher? Is it Ashton Kutcher? Incorrect. Students for the steal. Buzz in if you know. And? Adam Sandler. Is it Adam Sandler? Good guess, but incorrect. Here's clue three. He has played a race car driver, an anchor man, and an elf. Miss Hart ramped. Will Ferrell. Is it Will Ferrell? Look at that smile. Yeah, of course it's Will Ferrell. Hey, let's take a look at our scores right now. Students in the lead with 110 points. Teachers, you're trailing behind. You, you got a little ground there, so nicely done with 90 points on the board. Both teams still have a chance to win because it's time for final exam. Let's do it. The topic of today's final exam is the solar system. The solar system. I will ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, guys, is going to be worth 100 points. Teams are going to work together and write down their answers in the commercial break. But first, no writing yet. Let's hear these questions. Question one. What planet is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Question number two. What was the 2017 movie about a boy born and raised on Mars who travels to Earth to meet a girl? And question number three, what planet in our solar system is known for its large and colorful system of rings that form an orbiting disk? Okay, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we are going to see which team will ace their final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. Don't go anywhere. Hey, but first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. into the classroom today we have students and teachers from archbishop wood high school going head to head it's razor tight right now teachers trailing just slightly with 90 points to students in the lead with 110 points it feels oh you're smiling right now right <laughs> what would it mean to beat these teachers do you guys have them in class anybody still in class yes so i, I have his heart ramped in class two classes so you're ready for <laughs> yes. this then you are ready for this here we go the topic of today's final exam is the solar system before we went to break i asked both teams three questions don't forget
get each correct answer, guys, worth 100 points. Now, let's see who aced their final exam and will take the money and bragging rights back to their school. The first question, what planet is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty? Teachers, we're going to start with you. Mr. Rowan, you guys said... Venus. And Venus is correct, bringing you 190. Here we go. Savannah, you said... Venus. Venus is right. Back-to-back -back right answers, and it stays right on top. What was the 2017 movie about a boy born and raised on Mars who travels to Earth to meet a girl? Teachers, you said... Stars. <laughs> Which is incorrect. <laughs> Students... Uh, the boy from Mars. Also incorrect. <laughs> the space between us is what we were looking for. It comes down to the final question. What planet in our solar system is known for its large and colorful system of rings that form an orbiting disk? Teachers, you said... Saturn. Which is correct. Students, if you get this right, you win the game. If you get it wrong, teachers do. You said... Saturn. Students, are you right?